forgot to film an intro for this video. It is Sunday today. Um, the video should be up today. But um, I filmed the first portion of this during the week um, when I had time to work on the car. But I, like I said, I forgot to film an intro. So today we will be focusing on getting the motor in as promised in last week's video. So let's get straight into it. What we decided on is we're going to remove the alternator. We're going to remove this bracket and we're going to put on or use the old alternator setup from the city golf only thing is or only reason why we did it this way is because we sold the motor sold the alternator with that and that old setup so we're gonna have to source the alternator and then the brackets that fit in there and then the pulley um the pulley from the city golf for that to work out so i'm gonna remove this and then we can probably fit that once we source that but we could pr still get the motor in today so i'm gonna drop the motor in but I don't think we're gonna set the alternator up yet until we get our hands on that. A couple of you guys actually mentioned this in the comments in the previous video, so um, really appreciative of that. Thank you guys for mentioning that and helping me out. So we're gonna go that route. Um, like I said, the only problem or the only reason why we went that way is because I sold the motor and we sold the alternator and that whole setup with it. So. We thought we could make it work with this, but I think the easier way out would go with the whole Mark 1 um, alternator setup. <laughs> Everything has been stripped, got those pulleys off, got this cover off, got the alternator off and that old bracket. So all that I have to get now is the City Golf alternator. Um, I got to get that bracket that keeps the alternator in and then those two pulleys. And then I'm also going to get the plastic cover over here from a City Golf. So basically all the work that I've done, it's gone down the drain. But I guess we live and we learn. On the bright side though, um, that's at least some weight reduction. So I can't complain about that. Um, yeah, I'll need to get all of that stuff from the City Golf. And then we can attach all that, but we're gonna actually tackle this side. So we're gonna get this off, put the sump on, probably put it on like a tire, and then assemble um, the rear main seal clutch, and then drop the motor and gearbox in. Off camera I managed to put these pipes on. I just put that on quickly because it would be much easier to put it on now and be confined in the space once it's in the bay. So I did it now while it's out, much easier that way. The plan of action now would be to take it off of the stand, put it onto the tire and then we'll roll this tire under the car and we'll take it up on the lift and then bring it down um, and get it in. <laughs> the block is in so now we're going to start assembling everything on here uh, rear main seal clutch flywheel and then you can probably get the gearbox in after that <laughs> clutch flywheel on um, what I'm gonna do now is just we just had this on temporary so I'm gonna remove this put the oil pump and then put the um, sump on properly <laughs> So 
luckily I managed to get hold of the guy that I sold the motor to. He actually had a 1300 that was smoking and he contacted me so he could buy um, the 1600 and he did a swap. He actually um, fitted it, the car's running. I'm happy for him so shout out to Craig for helping me out. Um, I reached out to him and he still had um, the full setup on his old motor. So I contacted him and I went out there um, a few days ago and we managed to get everything that we needed. Um, he sorted us out so big ups to him. Um, one of the subscribers, um, Craig, thanks for hooking me up. Um, we got all the parts that we needed. So I'll show you what we got and then we can take it from the... This is all that we got. Um, we got the new alternator, well the alternator from the City Golf. Um, this is all the brackets that I need for the alternator. And then I got these two pulleys and obviously the bolts for that. So these pulleys differ um, from the 2 litre one. And then I also got this plastic cover over here. The one that I cut previously so I can get rid of that. And we'll use this one. But now I just need to clean up everything again and also respray the alternator. Before we go ahead with that I just want to first fit the clutch bracket. As you can see um, after the welding was done we had Wade come in and he just touched up that area where it was welded. He um, gave it a coat of primer and then also resprayed it so it looks much neater than it did before. Now I'm just going to install that seeing that there's a bit more space over here before the head goes on and the intake it will be much easier to work with and with that out. There we go that was fairly simple just mounted it in with the two tins and then got that linkage in so that's in. Now what we're going to tackle I'm probably going to tackle this um, get everything in here that we got from Craig um, I'll have to remove this bracket because we're going to replace this bracket I have to take this spacer out that I made because um, the other bracket that old alternator actually fits in there and that's why I used this or made this in the previous video not expecting to use the other bracket for this um, alternator that we're going to be using so I'm going to do that once that's done I'm going to get the engine um, bracket over here lift the engine up and then we can drop in the gearbox show you this is the one this is the new one or the one that I got from the Mark 1 and this one over here is the one from the Mark 3 so you can see there is a couple of holes that are not the same which um, allows bolts to go through to mount the um, alternator. So this also needs to be swapped out. And then this is the bracket from the City Golf, which will fit over here and um, allow the alternator to sit on there. And this is actually, if you can see it over here, that is the bracket or this will fit into the section over here. And this is what I made last week just to fill that gap. So I'll remove that, this will fit in there, and the alternator will fit on here. These are the two pulleys, I just wanted to show you the comparison between the two. This one is from the Mark III 2E block, and then this is from the City Golf. So you can see the size difference, and then it's basically deleting this entire one over here. Um, we wouldn't be using the aircon and power steering, so we're using or deleting this can see the size difference between this one this would go on to the crank from the Mark 3 and then this is the one from the Mark 1 so you can see the size difference between the two and then also this goes on to the water pump this one is from the Mark 3 and this one is from the Mark 1 you can see the size differences between the two alternator on everything fits perfectly um, I got the brace on the top now so now we're just gonna take it up on the lift and then we can start installing the uh, gearbox
there we go gearbox is in start is in we've got the drive shafts in and the side as well basically the bottom is assembled i still need to just put this cover in over here and then this gear shift linkage situation over here i just need to put in as well other than that everything at the bottom is in and tightened up so the bottom is basically complete everything um, is tightened up all we have to do now is focus on the top i've just got to get the head in and then we're going to get the branch i put in the um, drive shaft already and i think we're going to rather wait till we get the branch and put the branch in from the top i think it would be a little easier that way so we've got to put the branch in and then get the head on tighten that up put the intake on radiator battery and a couple of small things here and there but other than that it's taking shape nicely unfortunately we don't have the head bolts and the branch yet so this is where the video will stop for today um, we basically need to get the head bolts and the branch and then we can assemble everything and obviously lastly we will need um, to get the management and then have that wired up and then the car should start so good progress has been made i'm extremely happy with where we are at at the moment just a couple more things to go almost there and then she should be up and running for the first start so probably in the next episode we will be focusing on the top getting everything assembled guys i hope you enjoyed the video i apologize for taking so long but we are making good progress um, shout out to everyone that has mentioned in the comments in the previous video on the solution for the alternator i really appreciate that um, you guys are always helping me out when i need it so i really appreciate that from you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you guys next week peace just another sunny day in southern california